Hello, my name's Kayla, this is Cinnamon the Score Bunny, and are you as curious as I am about the giant gaping hole in the center of the Pokemon Scarlet Violet map? Well, I have a theory and it actually fits really well with what we know so far. The biggest question that I had when looking at a crater like that was what could possibly have caused that to happen? And I mean the only obvious answer we have from Pokemon lore so far is the ultimate weapon. We don't exactly see the part of the Pokemon world where the ultimate weapon hits down, but we do know that in real life, France is right next to Spain and Portugal. Talos, the region the ultimate weapon is fired from, is based on France. And the new region, Paldea, where we see this giant crater, is based on Spain and Portugal. It makes a lot of sense that the war from 3,000 years ago would take place between two regions that are geographically very close to each other. We even see these clouds on the map in the area that connects Spain to France. This means it's entirely possible that the giant crater that we see in the Paldea region map was created by the ultimate weapon. But wait a minute, we know a couple other things about the ultimate weapon. For example, it is highly theorized to the point that it's basically fact that the ultimate weapon created megastones. We know this because the ultimate weapon's power source was infinity energy and megastones were created when evolutionary stones were hit with a massive amount of infinity energy. So logically, it makes a lot of sense for the ultimate weapon to have created megastones. And we always just assumed that the mega timeline was the only timeline where AZ actually fired the ultimate weapon. But what we're seeing so far for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet suggests that there's another alternate timeline where AZ fired the ultimate weapon but might have used more power and thus caused something slightly different to happen. In addition to being used as a source of energy for the ultimate weapon and for megastones, infinity energy is also used to create ultra wormholes. Ultra wormholes are what allow people, Pokemon, and various objects to travel through ultra space into alternate parallel realities. For example, ultra wormholes are created every time you trade Pokemon from one game to another. This is because every copy of every Pokemon game exists in a separate parallel universe. Okay, so let's say for the Generation 9 universes, AZ does fire the ultimate weapon, but instead of that infinity energy creating megastones, it creates something else. Infinity energy is Pokemon's life energy. So what if the Pokemon that were hit by the ultimate weapon got kind of wrapped up in the energy that was being transported to different stones. I can't imagine that those Pokemon would be too pleased about that. And what do we see on the Terra Crystal crowns? Frowny faces. It seems like the Terra phenomenon, while beautiful, comes from a really disturbing place. There's also some evidence from Ku as well, who said that the new gimmick would be kind of similar to Mega Evolution. If it has the same source, it's actually very similar, even though they're not exactly the same. If we look at the dex entries of Mega Evolved Pokemon, they're not doing so good. A lot of the entries are pretty disturbing. So it makes sense that these alternate versions of Mega Stones would have these angry faces on them. It doesn't seem like this phenomenon hurts our Pokemon, at least. So... Yay, silver lining! <laughs> Additionally, although I said something different on the podcast with Johto Johnny and Dusty Go Goat, we actually see how we access those raid dens. There are these giant crystals in the overworld, and we can run up to them, similar to the raid dens in Sword and Shield, and access the crystals from there. When we do that, we actually go inside the crystal. Based on my theories so far, if you guys have watched some of my other videos, you'll know that these are most likely quantum time crystals, aka a moment of time that's kind of frozen but not frozen within a little space. So we've got these crystals where we're able to actually go inside of them and experience this moment of time with this other Pokemon. This area where AZ hit with the infinity energy is an area that's not quite right with time. Infinity energy has the ability to kind of connect with parallel universes and parallel universes are aren't necessarily occurring at the same time. So this would allow for some sort of tiny, wimey shenaniganry without 
actually it being direct time travel, which tends to mess with the lore. This also can potentially explain how we get different past and future forms, as well as a lot of the shenaniganry that could be going on in these games with past and future. You know, because of all these different paradoxes where you're like, you change something in the past and it should change something in the future and it's just a mess. But yeah, long story short, Crater was probably created by AZ when he fired the ultimate weapon. The infinity energy triggered a change not just with the state of the stones being able to power up Pokemon, but also having some sort of effect on the time and potential connections to other universes within that space. But what do you think? Do you think Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will connect to the story of the Kalos games in this way? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't watched my video about quantum time crystals, you should, you should probably do that. For more content, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Bye.